How's it everyone? It's me Black Sorvo, and today's video is a review for Jurassic World Dominion. So Jurassic World Dominion star premiere early on where I live. Um, it's out on June 7, but I watch on Twitter on June 8 at 12 p.m. You know how many people watch it on Twitter with me? Only 11 people, including me at that time, and amongst them are young say around 15 to 20 years old and then I check it online for seat bookings there are only 10 to 20 seats are booked for the next day and weekdays that means um, this movie only get no more than 30 people in a one show or not more than 100 people watching in a day that's only my prediction I could go wrong um, as our Jurassic fans, that's really sad to see so few people like to watch Dominion. Alright, this review video is 100% spoilers free, so you don't have to worry about if you're watching this video but haven't watching the movie yet. I'm very pleased with the movie. Um, it's really show us the epic conclusion from Jurassic Park until now where the dinosaurs are shared place with humans and how they can live together. The movie filled with amazing actors and they played the characters really good. Yes, the returning characters from Jurassic Park, Alan Grant, Andy Sattler and Ian Malcolm show up on screen and share time from the beginning to end. I like how they still understand the characters without breaking it. The original characters from Jurassic World, Owen Grady and Claire Deering and Macy Lockwood from previous movie are still together and share screen with um, the trio legends. I really like Owen Grady in action when escaping the dinosaurs, same with Claire, both are so incredible. The new characters, the one wise as Kayla and Mamoru Eti as MC also did their part so well. I like them, but my favorite is still Dr. Grant. I like every scene of him. There are also a lot of new dinosaurs introduced in this movie, such as Giganotosaurus, Diloposaurus, Atrociraptor, Terizinosaurus, Pyroraptor, and more. While previous movie had genetic hybrids, but not in Dominion, instead more accurate dinosaurs shows by feathers so this is good for someone who like jurassic style and value accurate style but not just dinosaurs but also species non dinosaurs also appear not to mention them also if you like um, to give comments for this video or about the movie please leave a spoiler mark if your comments will Contain spoiler, but it's better to stay away from the comments if you don't want to be spoiled. We we are appreciate the movie and respect the community too. So please, how they produce it with CGI and animatronics are so insane. I'm amazed by it. That's so amazing to see the dinosaurs with animatronics and CGI. They all look so realistic. For me, they are. Um, some good and not good from this movie the story writing a bit rough but still okay some scenes are poorly written and a little off like it was forced to integrate with the previous but instead it made me um, to say wait what how and why that question are pop in my head at certain parts at the beginning of the movie is good, but there was a missing link in the mid and end story. Well, that's probably we could discover from Camp Cretaceous or it being really mentioned before. There's a lot of jump scare and it's really good, but I think there's one or two I can guess, so it didn't work for me. The relationship drama between Grant and Ellie still continues and that's cute. I almost dropped a tear but I like it. The dinosaurs also give goosebumps 
um, sweet, cute, and scary. And that's so incredible. I really love that. The action scene give me goosebumps every time. The soundtracks give me everything real Jurassic vibes. I also found some good quotes from the characters. Honestly, from Jurassic Park till the Minion, there are always good quotes. I really like the meaningful and sarcastic words from the trio legends that I should take note. Well, I try to keep it low as this is no spoiler review. I will make video with spoiler a week or 10 days after the Minion out on June 10, so I will let everyone enjoy the movie first. Overall, it's so amazing, and the characters are so incredible. I also love the returning characters and every moment of it. And the CGI and animatronics used in this movie are so amazing. I really adore it. The story was good enough as the end of the trilogy, so I rated this movie 8.7. Honestly, I would like to go back to watch it again as the second time. It's really worth to watch and not really disappointing. I would recommend you to watch this, uh, whether you are Jurassic fans or Dinosaur fan or none of them. It's good to watch. I love, uh, scared, got goosebumps, cringe, and almost drop a tear. Sad that so few people are going to watch this movie on my area. Hopefully, uh, more will come to watch this movie, although uh, with no match with Avengers Endgame, Spider-Man Way Home, but this is a very special movie that everyone should get a chance to watch. If you haven't watched it, then go now, watch, or if it's not out yet in your area, be patient and watch it out. Happy watching and hope you like it. Alright, so that's all my YouTube videos. If you guys like it and enjoy it, please let me know what you think about the movie or um, the review. I would love to uh, read it in the comment below. And I will see you next time with spoilers. So, yeah, I'll be in.